What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the AEW Unrivaled Action Pack that comes with a barbed wire bat, barbed wire broom, a chain, a platform to wrap in barbed wire, and a barbed wire chair. So let's get right on into it. Alright, just a, a quick little showcase to cut into here. Uh, these, I, I do not know entirely how to hook these on here. And this is going to be the most aggravating part of putting this thing together so that is why i was not showing it on camera i don't even know if i'm doing this entirely correctly there's instructions on the bottom of the box but they're not like the most clear instructions so i'm honestly just winging it and i'm i'm pretty satisfied with it so far as long as it stays on there also, how'd you guys like showing off Moxley and Omega at the beginning of the video in front of the pack? I think that is definitely the two guys you're going to want to have when it comes to these accessories. I saw some really cool figure photography on Instagram already regarding uh, those two guys and this pack. I'm anxious to see more shots, especially from people like Side Fig Gig, Figure for Photos with an F. Everybody knows I figured it out. Just insane amount of people. I And I think Stage Creator is going to use these in upcoming videos. I'm going to lose my mind because that dude does a lot of stuff with, oh, with products we don't even have and he kind of like makes them makes his own so i'm anxious to see how that goes because you know for a fact he's going to use them all right so now that we spilled a little bit of the bubbly on the table let's go and take a better look so i'm gonna start off here with this barbed wire chair i honestly do not know if we have ever received a barbed wire chair in wrestling figure form i'm not gonna attempt this looks like this could just slide off i'm not gonna take it off because my luck i wouldn't be able to get it back on kind of slow but i think this looks really cool and i think this is actually gonna be a really neat accessory to have after that is a chain i just noticed this for the first time it is molded together right here in the middle and you're not going to be able to separate that unless you just cut it and then you got to be careful so in a sense the chain is stuck like this and i'm now not going to be using that i was very excited for that but i'm not going to be using that now <laughs> after that we have the cleaner with a barbed wire broom and this accessory is ridiculous i i don't remember this in the match but i i didn't buy the AEW pay-per-views at the time but this is insane this is you can't tell me that's not cool i mean it's different it's fun you know but i will say this the accessories do not go well in their hands and that is an absolute shame in my opinion and it kind of sucks it it takes it down a notch for me as you see there that's how easily it slides out of mox's hand it pops going in and just slides coming out so i've aired my grievances with the aew hands in the past but i think it's very apparent here let me see if I have an elite laying around where maybe, yeah, here we go. Let me try it in the elite's gripping hands. Even then, it's it's kind of loose in my fix of Seth Rollins figure. The, the grip isn't very strong at all, and that's a shame. That was my issue with the Boss Fight Studios figures and their barbed wire bat, honestly, and it, it killed it for me there. But I think they look cool. They're gonna look really good in figure photography, if you ask me. And here's the platform. I'm gonna try and do this without knocking everything over. You basically just put the barbed wire on there however you want. I mean, it's, it's your board. And I have three of these, and I'll probably put it on there differently in all three of them. But it sits, it sits up well, and I think it's gonna be really cool to add onto the side of the ring when filming matches or when doing figure photography. So I'm very excited about that. But uh, you guys wanna see some WWE figs in here to, you know, kind of showcase them besides just that uh, Seth Rollins. I'm gonna show my current favorite elite at the time besides the original elite Buddy Murphy. And I'm gonna go with Karrion Cross. It's a huge deal for me to get that figure. I absolutely love it. And let's, uh, you guys know my favorite AEW figure, it is none other than darby allen so uh i guess to finish off this video let's do a coffin drop from the top of my dio into uh into the barbed wire platform so here we go i'm satisfied take it easy y'all